Korean nuclear missiles is eliminated. What more do you want, Livingston? Enough! You disobeyed a direct order, Mr. Marshall, when it was clear your op was compromised. With all due respect, sir, you weren't there. And the group that compromised you, the Pantheon. You sure that's who they were? That's what Alawi called them. When are you gonna tell us what's really going on here? I'm asking the questions, Mr. Woods. Sir, if you read the report, you I read your report, Ms. Harrow. Some of it I still find hard to believe. That's why we're going to go over events again. Only this time, I want to hear it from Marshall. From the beginning. We were in position near the Iraq-Kuwait border. Small team, me, Harrow, and Case. <laughs> Lowry is ahead of schedule. Whoever he's meeting won't wait around for long. No, not if it's a smuggler. I'm sure Lowry has paid top dollar to get himself out of the Middle East. Guess it doesn't really matter. He's coming with us. Outlaw 42, we've got our eyes on the convoy. Paying the target, over. Roger, ground. Target confirmed. Waiting on your go. Over. Do it. Outlaw 42, you're clear to engage. Out. Let's go get him. Copy, ground. Engaging and out. Here comes the traffic jam. Shooting, I remember. Two targets down. More to come. Keep pushing into the smoke. Another one. They'll know we're here soon. Be ready. What's ahead? Let's do this. Okay, 
take the door. Get this straight, Mr. Marshall. The group you claim to be, the Pantheon, was a multinational, heavily armed paramilitary force that showed up out of the blue. At this point, you're told to wait for backup, but you decide to play cowboy instead. We had to act fast. Our window Ms. was Harrow, closed. Did he or did he not disobey your order? Yes, sir, but the accelerated timetable. That's what I thought. I've come to expect this from you. Not from you. Sir, our objective was to recover Alawi by any means necessary. Oh, I'm aware. So, care to explain why he's on a slab in the morgue right now? Things got complicated. Who are these people? The Pantheon is composed of former European and US operatives. I don't know who leads them. They're blocking our exfil. We call in reinforcements of weight. Wait, what the hell with that? Barrage, come in. We're headed your way. No, we're compromised. Alawi will slow us down. Alawi, you going with us to the Pantheon? I'm going with you. Damn it, Troy. Smart man. Case, let's start by softening them up. Get to work, Case. That's our opening. Let's punch through it. He'll be there. You just worry about not slowing us down. We're open targets down here. Pantheon could pick us apart. Almost to the RP 
Raju, meet us at the bottom. Project. You can ease up, son. I'm all done here. Jane? You just killed a high-value target in cold blood. And put our national security at risk. Halawi can't fall into the Pantheon's hands. Or Langley's. The CIA is compromised. But it's not me. I'm just the fall guy. You expect us to believe that? Hey, Jane, you want to tape his mouth shut for me? Yes. Wait. I got a message for Woods. Oh, yeah? Tell him Bishop takes Brooke. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Time to go. In the truck! Despite breach of conduct and losing Alawi, apprehending Russell Adler is a categorical windfall. Yes, Ms. Harrow. Bringing in a rogue operative is certainly a win. Russell Adler, the mole who betrayed us in Panama, the man responsible for your current condition, Mr. Woods. 
So why was he trying to tell you something in Kuwait? Bishop takes Rook. Any idea what that means? No clue. Okay, then. Based on Harrow's reluctant report and the withholding of critical information regarding Russell Adler, your team is suspended. Are you for real? This is bullshit. As for you, Miss Harrow, consider yourself on very, very thin ice. People like me and Adler are the reason we ain't speaking Russian right now. The Cold War is over. Mr. Woods, that makes you and Russell Adler the last global gunslingers of a bygone era. Take this time to reflect on that. Dismissed, all of you. My office in five. I'd advise you not to pursue this further, Marshal. scars <clears throat> why are we here Harrow because you know something care to tell me what it is you're up to I mean the kids just need some time away you know take a little trip reflect a little look I can cover your asses on my end best I can but if things go sideways again you're on your own copy that Oh, you one. One? Yeah. Try a dozen. Do me a favor, Troy. Don't get yourself killed. I'll see what I can do. Bishop takes Rook. Of course, Woods knew what it meant. Adler was pointing us somewhere. The Black Sea. According to Woods, 15 years ago, he and Adler discovered an abandoned KGB safe house in Bulgaria. It was called the Rook. Last year, before Adler disappeared, he'd been chasing rumors of a dangerous paramilitary group, one receiving orders from inside the CIA. He believed the Pantheon was developing a new type of weapon with plans to unleash something the world had never seen before. And wouldn't you know it, soon evidence surfaced incriminating Adler himself, and he fled to this place. What we found here over the last couple days has changed everything. Now I'm questioning what I believed about Adler, about Livingston, about the CIA itself. I have my doubts about going dark on Jane. Woods might be right about her value on the inside, but she'll be in the crosshairs if Langley learns what we're up to. Adler brought us here for a reason, to stop the Pantheon before they strike. To do that, Woods believes we'll need him back. That won't be easy. But Adler left the name to follow. It's a good place to start. No more wasting time. You know the plan. Savati Duma, the person you're gonna meet. Still no idea why Adler was in contact with her, but a lead's a lead. We can't trust her. I doubt if Adler did. Hell, for all we know, she's part of this fucking pantheon thing. Who can we trust? Duma agreed to meet Case in Avalon, so we're doing this. Well, well, well. Look at you putting your big boy pants on. Shouldn't we find Adler before making this call? Well, that's exactly why I'm going to Munich to wine and dine your old friend. Friend? Hardly. I can't stand the son of a bitch. But we need him. Sometimes you just gotta hold your nose. If he's as good as you say he is, by the time Case gets back, we'll have located Adler. If Livingston hasn't already stuffed him in a barrel. Our details are up on the board, Case. I'm headed out, so hit me up soon if you need anything. 
I've got a few ideas on how we can polish this turd of a safe house case. Let's talk when you have a minute. It's been a few months since I went off the grid, but leads have been slow to turn up. Though I do get one anonymous tip out of Avalon. Pantheon may be partnering with one of the major crime factions there. And potentially reaching out to others as well. I've offered a small sum to a one-time asset of mine to follow up. She has an axe to grind there, so I'd be surprised if she turns me down.
Daniel Livingston's been planning my retirement party for half a decade. He wants a youth movement inside the CIA. More creative and agile operatives, I recall him saying. If he wasn't the one who framed me, he sure was eager to believe the pile of horseshit that landed on his desk. He can hunt me down as long as he wants. But he'd never think to look inside the former KGB safe house. Even if he knew it existed. See, Daniel, I could be creative too.
is marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at his gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, Grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at his gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, Grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at his gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, Grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at his gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, Grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at his gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, Grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at his gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, Grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at his gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, Grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral grand... sank into the couch, annoyed at his gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, Grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at his gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, Grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at his gift. 
Black's father leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, Grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at this gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, Grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at this gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, Grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at this gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, Grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at this gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, Grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at this gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, Grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at this gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, Grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at this gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, Grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at this gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, Grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at this gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, Grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at this gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, Grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at this gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair.
not just an ashtray, grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at his gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at his gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Annoyed at his gift, grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at his gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, grandfather said. It's marked with our ancestral crest. I sank into the couch, annoyed at his gift. Grandfather leaned forward in his chair. Be proud of your heritage. It's not just an ashtray, grandfather said. It's more with our ancestral crest. What's going on, man? The man both loves and hates being told what to do. That's a tough motherfucker in there. Lost his legs in Panama, lost his best friend. Langley gave him a chance to help run ops, but between me and you, it's not in his blood. Man's a soldier. Killer. His current situation, maybe he feels like he's on the front line again. So far, we've got nothing but Atlas homework. 
but he could be out of his mind. Whether he is or whether he isn't, those paramilitaries in Kuwait, they were the real deal. Well-armed, coordinated, motivated. Hell, man, I don't know. Seems hard to believe, but maybe I'm just naive. If Livingston's involved, he could have wanted to add it off the board one way or the other. Worried? Jane's smart. Once Langley knows we've skipped town, she'll make excuses for us as long as possible. Until then, comms are gonna put a target on our head, so we'll wait for the time to be right, and then we'll regroup. Am I worried? No. Just what we found in Adler's files. An assassin, maybe 30 years old, came from one of Avalon's crime factions, the Guild. Fear she was raised through the Guild and then exiled or left, don't know. Whatever it is, Adler was interested, so I am too. Felix Newman's a former Stasi engineer and enforcer. Dude managed to crack the military branch of ARPANET a few years back, so I'm hoping he's got a sequel in him. You got it. See you back here on Thursday. <sighs> All right. What kind of life savings you got? That a boy. Garpe fucking deal. Well, guess what? If we're really doing this, we've got to get financially creative. This place might have been fine for Adler, but for a team, I'm thinking overhaul, an armory, place to train, gear bench, not to mention anything else we might end up needing. There's that won't be free, though. Marshall found a few grand stashed in one of the rooms upstairs. Other than that, we're starting fresh. No touching our own bank accounts, either. Someone will be watching. When you're on a mission, look around for any cash lying around. You're gonna Robin Hood your way through this. Steal from the rich and give to the poor. That's me. We were following an old KGB trail and a single recording let us here. Seemed abandoned. When we asked our mole inside the KGB about it, he knew nothing. Belikov thought maybe it was some kind of splinter group, not sanctioned by the Central Committee. Whatever it was, it doesn't look like a red-stepped foot in here since 1968. Yeah, I don't think he wanted to get others involved. Looks like he was working on a trust list. As far as I can tell, he didn't contact anyone. That's probably why Adler was talking to Dumas, keeping it outside of Langley. We're gonna do the same, at least for now. The board behind me is how we'll track our spending. Give it a look. Just tell me where you want to spend the cash and I'll set it up.